we beat Koga pretty easily. Um, he wasn't hard, but we did get to Sabrina. And the problem the, the, where I messed up with Sabrina is I just went through Self Tower, and I forgot to buy more heals. So all I had were super potions, and I was getting destroyed. So I gave myself one mulligan because we would have lost um, Huayra and Beetle, I think. Uh, so I did give myself a mulligan, and I went and bought a whole mess of hyper potions. And then when I went back to Sabrina, like, I whooped the pants off of her. Like, it wasn't even close. Not even close. Uh, Gyarados, or Huayra, just took her to the woodshed. And that was the end of that. Um, so I didn't even need him. But that is my one mulligan. I, so anything from here on out, the results are going to be what the results are. Um, you know, if I lose a Pokemon from now on, like, that's just it. I'm just going to deal with it. And we'll figure it out. We'll just go with it. Um, but I did want to make that, that just, just to be totally transparent, like, I don't have a revive system or anything. So I did do that. I did um, just restart the battle. Uh, but now we're going to jump. We're going to jump into things. So we've got Blaine to go. I don't. I think I have Surf. I still don't have Fly. I don't remember if you get Fly on Cinnabar Island or not. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So let's. Uh, let's swap on over here. And we'll get into things. Back into some fire red, folks. I don't know. We'll see how far we get tonight. I, th I think Blaine is definitely within reach. Um, maybe even... Maybe even uh, Giovanni. Preparations had to be made. Uh, we spent 12,000 Poke dollars at the Poke Mart. For items including hyper potions. I uh, took on Sabrina, Saffron City gym leader Sabrina's Alakazam with Snorlax and one handedly. Like, it was not close. If you watch the VOD, uh, like, I I smoked Sabrina. It was not even close. Uh, we saved the game at Saffron City. Okay. So we just went to the Pokemon Center and healed back up. Uh, yeah, so. Our team's kind of interesting. Um, we haven't hit level cap on anything. Um, and we might actually be in a half decent, half decent state for uh, Blaine. Uh, what happened? Beetle learned Psychic or Psy Beam? Psy Beam, I think. Psy Beam, yeah. Safeguard was big too. We did that. That was that was big. Um, I think we might have used. I think I might use Safeguard against Koga. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, but Blaine, what does Blaine have? So Blaine has, I know he has, yeah, Growlithe, Ponyta, Rapidash, and Arcanine. Um, and I don't see, I don't think he has anything that will be good against uh, Hylux. So Hylux might be where we want to focus our attention at, getting him up to that level cap area. Um, but anyways... Let's let's just start heading. Let's start heading. Well, actually, we're close. Let's go back up to the Pokemon trainer. Let's see how uh, how Tuscan is doing. Which Tuscan, if you remember, is our Dratini. See how he's faring. If we've gotten any more levels out of him, I don't remember if we checked. We might have, but I don't remember. By one. Okay, so it's only one over last time. So we're gonna we're just gonna leave him in there, and we'll keep going. Um, obviously, we know he evolves into Dragonair at like level 36 or something, and Dragonite is like level 55. So we got a ways to go. Um, we're just gonna let him. We're just gonna let him keep keep doing his thing. Uh, and let's let's head on down. Man, I wish I had fly, but I don't remember where to get it. I, I, for some reason, I just swore. I swore it was, uh... I swore it was there in Celadon. But I guess I'm wrong. Did we catch anything in Vermilion? 
No, we have not caught anything. So we can go fishing. Let's do some... Who do we have out? Uh... Dragon Rage is probably our best bet with that. So let's see. Let's see what we can catch. Uh, let's go with a super rod. Ooh. 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 Is Horsey gonna have 40 HP? Um. Oh, I forgot Dragon. I wonder if I can just outright catch it. What do I have? What Pokeballs do I have? Uh, I do have plenty of Ultra Balls, so let's try an Ultra Ball. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Caught Horsey. Uh, what do I want to nickname it? I don't think I have anything nicknamed Miata. I'm gonna go with the Miata because the horsey's eyes remind me of those little pop headlights from the old school Miatas. Nice. Well, that's a that's a quick win. That's a quick win. I dig that. One more for the Pokedex. <laughs> do do. Hopefully we do some more battling between now and uh, Blaine, obviously. I mean, I know we'll do a little bit, but... Oh, I can get the item finder, right? Isn't that where, he, isn't this where he's at? What does he have? Oh, go back up there. Go back up there. Is this the guy? Yeah. I do have 30. 34. Let's go. Oh, we could try to catch Zapdos if we wanted. Or do I technically have to... I wonder if I have to wait for Blaine because he's technically... Well, I think I could catch him. I just don't think I could use him because of the level cap being 47 and Zapdos is level 50. Um, Alright, let's, let's, let's head down here. Let's go see what's up. Let's go see what's 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 the what. I don't know why I went that way. I know I gotta go up. Um, here we go. See, whooped all these guys. I don't think there's anybody you can fight again, is there? I don't know. Although, um, I do think we want to swap out, who do we want to swap out here? I don't think we want to swap out Hylix. Um, let's, let's do, <coughs> excuse me, I think I might end up, I don't think I'm going to need him, because Clubman, well, he might be good once we get to the island. Uh, but I want to get Gloom, or Vile Plume, sorry, Vile Plume. I'm going to get Leaf out, because Leaf will be good against any of these swimmers that actually have Water-type Pokemon instead of Poison. Tentacool, Tentacool, you know. Let 
You're welcome. Uh, let's actually... Let's lead Beetle. Since Lidl Beetle has uh, side, side beams, so that'll be good if we fight anything poison. Of course, sure enough, I say that, and the first thing they go with is, is Horsey. Uh, let's go with Sleep Powder. Nighty night. Good job, Beetle. Good job. Yeah, let's swap. We'll get, we'll get Bioplume out here. We'll start getting some uh, XP. Oh, why is my thing so far? Oh, I know why. Hang on a second, guys. I'm sorry. I forgot that I had resized this. No, I don't want to do that. I forgot I resized it because of uh, Minish Cat being on NSO. Sorry about that. We didn't have the edges cut off. But we're good now. Uh, let's go with Absorb. That's what happens when you don't check your stuff and you just throw everything on and run with it. Sometimes you make mistakes. But that's okay. We're good now. What do we get? Was it gonna be Tentacool? Tentacool, alright. Ooh, that's a really low level one though. Uh, that's okay, we're gonna catch it. Maybe we'll catch it. The fact that it just like said no, I will not for a Ultra Ball like that, that's crazy. It's only level 11. I guess I could put it to sleep, huh? We'll try that. Maybe we'll try that. Let's try another one. Let's, well, let's just let's just run the gauntlet, right? Started with the Ultra Ball. That didn't do anything. Great Ball had more success than the Ultra Ball. Let's try the Poker Ball. Same success as the Great Ball. Okay. We'll work our way back up. Oh, come on. I probably should just try to put it to sleep instead of wasting all these. That's okay. Man, it really shocks me how ineffective Ultra Balls are against this thing. It's level 11. Of course, saw that coming. And it's going to get poison. If it ever uses another poison sting. How are you still confused? Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. Good job. Good job, Beetle. I'm proud of you, bud. Way to go. Uh, no, I do not want to swap Pokemon. I want to use a Pokeball. Let's actually see if this Ultra Ball will do anything this time. Alright! Uh... Tentacool. 100 pounds? Good grief. That's a chunky boy. Uh, give a nickname to the Captured Tentacle, yes. Uh... What could we name a Tentacle? Uh, 
Uh, I'm actually gonna go with the uh, boat names, just like we did for um, calling Lapras a pontoon. We're gonna call Mosquito. Where am I at? I am on. Okay, Route 19. Just want to make sure for our for our Pokedex. Skidoo. Kind of like Bidoof. Captured. All right. Okay. I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. Oh, you sh it's because you're a snorkeler. You need to be a snorkeler, not a swimmer. Goldine. Again, I should have led with um, Vile Plume, but that's okay. Should make pretty quick work being 11 levels up. I knew I should use that sleep powder. I knew I should have used sleep powder. Let's go. Oh, Prime Day was this week too, guys. I bought way too much stuff. Way too much stuff. But I'm getting a new keyboard and a new mouse, so that's cool. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna... My intentions are to... You now, what stinks is I have to save them. Um, I'm not allowed to open them yet. I have to wait until my birthday in October. Uh, but that's okay. But my plan is I'm actually gonna try Halo Infinite using keyboard and mouse. I want to see how, how good it will feel. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, thank goodness. That was about the worst mistake. It's not that I don't trust Vileplume to get the job done, but Sea King with its horn knows moves like Horn Attack and Horn Drill that are like one-hit KOs. Oh, that's gonna suck. Giovanni knows that. Yikes. What's beyond the horizon? Uh, Zero Dawn. Alloy. Alloy is behind, beyond the horizon. Just gotta go find it. Yeah, horsey is really weak. Tentacool, uh, no. We will stay beetle for type advantage. Apparently not advantageous enough. Bubble bee? I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's a water Pokemon, right? We'll, we'll just use Gus to take care of it. Add a boy beetle. That's a cool. No, we will not change. In fact, what we're gonna do? We hit sleep powder. Sleep. At least for one turn, anyways. And then we will go Psybeam. That must be Vile Plum that knows that move. Maybe not. Um Yeah, we'll go leave. Goldine had its energy drain. Goldine used water sport. I mean, obviously, I understand why that would weaken fire's power, but I wonder if that uh, helps water type or grass type moves. Grass type is the one I would be more interested in, anyways, because um, 
like a grass Pokemon. I don't. I don't want to use it. On, no, use it on Beetle. Uh, it would just make me I, like I would think that they would get extra power from having more water. That's an energy source. But what do I know? What do I know? Polywag. Enjoy my sighting. Rain dance helps. Not me, but it helps. Poly world. Poly world. All right, Leaf, let's go. Get the job done. Not as menacing as Polyrath, that's for sure. I feel like they should have left a tail on Polyworld. Just me spitballing, though. Belly flop. How are you doing a belly flop this far out in the ocean? That's my question. <laughs> I am not fighting a level 7 tentacle. Actually, I'm going to just because every experience point at this point matters. And because I knew Guess would one shot it. Or, well, I guess I shouldn't say I knew. I had a pretty good suspicion that Gus would one shot it. All right, we're going to do a duo battle. My big sis taught me how to swim and train Pokemon. She probably didn't teach you how to do one of those things very well. And I'm not sure which one because you're uh Oh man, I am so stupid. Um I'm sitting here leaving a bug type and a grass type out against Pokemon that have horns and no flying type moves. I am not smart, folks. Do not ask me for advice on Pokemon. Just don't do that. And so unto me, said Goku. Senzu Bean said Goku. For he was weak, but he could be strong again. Hello! Fox, did you see what I what I reposted on, or excuse me, retweeted? Did you see what I retweeted on Twitter? That is a very important question. The entire Frieza Go versus Goku fight. Yes, yes. I have spent the last. I've watched that for the last hour and a half before I uh, before I went live. It's a three hour and twenty minute long video. And I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to watch the rest of it when I get off the stream. <laughs> I, I appreciate how much better... How much better that fight is with no commercials and no breaks, really. With it all just being like one big cut. Like, it's an hour and a half. I'm an hour and a half in and I'm like, man, this fight just goes hard. It's so good. It's so good. Were you big into Dragon Ball Z, Fox? I was, uh... I was big into it from... Essentially, like, the Frieza saga through... Uh, up to Maj Well, up into Majin Buu. I shouldn't say through Majin Buu. I did not get through the whole Buu series. But I got into quite a bit of it... Before my, uh... Before my dad... Love my dad to death... Before my dad decided that uh, anime was no longer welcome in our house because uh, when the people talked, their mouths, the movements that their mouths made did not match the words they were saying. So that was the end of anime, of all anime for me. All anime. No more. 
No more Dragon Ball Z, no more Pokemon, no more Zoids, uh, you know, whatever else I was watching at the time. Um, I don't I don't think I was still watching Yu-Gi-Oh! I might have been. Uh, but that was it. That was the end of it all because uh, Goku's words did not match his lips. I missed several episodes here and there, but I was a big DBZ fan. I think I watched most of everything from beginning of Z until Boo Saga, almost all of Dragon Ball and some of GT. So I did not watch Dragon Ball, and I did not watch any of GT. Um, well, okay, I did not, I watched a little bit, a very little bit of Dragon Ball, but it was not, I did not watch Dragon Ball originally. I watched Dragon Ball after I'd been watching Dragon Ball Z for quite some time. And I think I may have watched just a couple episodes. And I mean a couple episodes of GT. But it was not like because I wanted to watch GT. It just was something that was on. Um, I watched a lot of Gundam too. Well, I guess I shouldn't say a lot of Gundam. There was one Gundam series. I don't remember what it was, but I did watch plenty of that. Uh, that was a good good show. I like Gundam. Stuff with big robots. I was a big fan of uh, shows with big robots. Don't ask me about Power Rangers though. I did not I did not watch Power Rangers. I don't I don't remember if I wasn't allowed to watch Power Rangers or if it just wasn't me. Like I don't remember though cuz my cousins watched Power Rangers and um Especially one of my older cousins, like he was huge into Power Rangers, but we were not a Power Rangers family. But I don't know. Big robots are super fun. I do remember one show too. I think I watched a couple episodes. Um, I just I don't remember what it was called because it's it's been you know 15 years ago since I watched most of these shows. 20 years ago in some cases. Um, the whole premise of the show was essentially it was like essentially Batman but instead of the guy being a superhero instead of the Bruce Wayne of the show being a superhero he, I mean he was a multi-millionaire but like he had a giant like bigger than Gundam sized robot and would fight these other monsters or bad guys that would blow in town. Uh, I'm thankful my parents never banned TV shows. I think for the most part they just didn't know what me and my brother were watching, but they did pay attention to our video games for the most part. Um, my parents were... I wouldn't I wouldn't say the exact opposite because they it, it just depended. It depended on... Um, depending on what it was. Because, like, TV shows, yes, they were very careful about what we've watched. Um, and it wasn't even, like, that they cared about the content of, like, literally. They did not care about the content of Dragon, like, the anim animes that I watched. It was literally just the fact that uh, the mouths did not match what they were saying. So, that bothered my dad, so that was the end of that. Um, video games, like, I don't know... I think it was more like my parents my parents were kind of careful about what they bought us um, I don't think that they did like a lot of research on like what games we wanted uh, I think they, they definitely were uh, more more along the lines of the ESRB like they would just check and see what the ERC, ESRB ratings were and uh, what it was rated that for and it was long long as it wasn't anything egregious like they would buy it for us like I mean we had we had M-rated games, you know, shooters at like 12 and 13, just because they were like, well, it's just violence, it's just blood, so what? <laughs> like, they didn't, they didn't care about that, but uh, I never owned a Grand Theft Auto, I uh, was not allowed to own those, um, or anything that had like, like strong language usually was discouraged, uh, nudity and that kind of stuff especially was an absolute no. But as long as, as long as it didn't fall into that uh, realm. Usually we were fine. Um, makes sense. Yeah. 
But again, this is uh, these are the same parents. These are the same parents, Fox. That uh, personally, I think it's I think it's just a funny story to tell. Um, so I remember when we when we got our N64, we got it for Christmas, and uh, we got my parents bought the I want to say it was called the player, it, not the player pack, because that's that's the DK oldies thing. Uh, well, I'll wait I'll wait till the ad's done before I tell tell the story. Um, we're gonna go back and heal real quick. Uh, let's see how my fantasy baseball team is doing while we're on ad break chat. I'm currently winning by 10. Brenton Doyle of the Colorado Rockies is... Uh, my one good player for tonight. Well, I take that back. Jonathan India had a solid night. He got five points, and Lourdes Gurriel Jr. for the uh, Diamondbacks. Hey! Angel Martinez came through with the single and an RBI. That's cool. That's cool. Everybody else on my team was kind of poopy. Minus two, minus one, minus two. That's five points that I lost. Yikes. Uh, how's the nose lot going, by the way? Any new deaths? Uh, we did lose Pidgeotto last week. Um, I did make the disclaimer too, Fox, that I gave myself one mulligan. Um, because I fought... Well, I went straight from Sylph Tower to Sabrina. No, no I didn't. I went through Sylph Tower and then I went Bikoga. And then I went to Sabrina. And I did not buy any, like, better quality heals. All I had was Super Potions. And so I lost, technically, uh, I think it was Beetle and Huayra both died. Um, so I did give myself a mulligan, and I went and bought a bunch of Hyper Potions, and then I went back and fought Sabrina again, and I literally did not even need anything. Like, I whooped the pants off of her. Wasn't even close. Um, but that's the, that's the only mulligan I'm using for the whole challenge. Um... I figure that's my reward for trying to play the level cap. Uh, but otherwise, it's going pretty good. So, back back to my story. Um, my parents... Uh, well, okay, so I remember when we got our N64, right? Got it for Christmas. I don't think it was the year it came out. It might have been the year after. Um, but we got... We got the we got the one that came with uh, it came with two controllers, and I don't remember if it came with a game or not. It might have, but we got Super Mario 64, Mario Kart, and my dad. My dad got Goldeneye for Christmas, um, so we had three games, and we played we played it quite a bit. But uh, if you're familiar with Goldeneye, right? There's the the level that's it's probably about two thirds of the way in the game, the train level, um, where you start off in the train car and you you know you work your way up to the front to uh, rescue N Natalia. But anyways, that that mission starts and you're in the very back of the train. You're in a cargo um, train car, and there's a bunch of like boxes and steel crates and you know dudes hiding on the other side. Well, one of them there is a there is a uh, steel crate where the bottom one is stacked like here and then the top one is like offset this way well I guess if you guys are looking to be this way so there's a gap underneath the top one um, between the wall and the bottom crate from where the top one's at and on the other side of that gap there is there's an enemy there's a bad guy and so you know you can crouch down and just shoot through the gap and kill the guy uh, without without him ever even seeing you uh, so my brother was playing one time and my dad was watching him and my brother was doing this level right and my brother shot the guy but he shot the guy in the crotch and my dad was not very happy that my brother was doing something like that on purpose so he grounded him from it for a week so so just to, just to give you a little little insight as to what my you know what kind of stuff we would get in trouble for as kids uh, but yeah uh, definitely, level cap is hard, especially with uh, Koga and Sabrina. It's like a bottleneck. Um, 
Like, I didn't think it was that bad, Fox. I think I had the right, um... I think I had the right order for it just to, like, do everything up until both gym fights and then go back and do the gym after, gyms after, like, back-to-back. -back. I just, I just, you know, for whatever reason, didn't think to buy uh, better stuff. And then she, uh, when did she start whacking me with? I want to say it was psychic that I just started getting demolished, and I mean demolished that first go-through. Like, I, I mean, I beat her. But I lost two Pokemon in the process, so I gave myself a mulligan because I was just going to play the same strat. But I ended up trying something different. Um, I don't remember if it's that I actually used Hydro Pump with Huayra or if it was just that I... Uh, I think it was that I actually used Surf instead of uh, Bite. Which, even though Bite being a Dark-type move, was kind of crap. And Surf was just, just super destructive. Uh, we got through it just fine. Um, pretty strict dad. In, in that sense only, like, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why my dad was, you know, so hung up on that, honestly. Uh, he just, like, he just had little things here and there that, like, those were the things that, like, he would be really bothered by. My dad, for the most part, was uh, a very laid-back person, you know, did not, was not, like, real loud-tempered or anything like that, you know, very, very relaxed, just, you know. My dad's okay. So just to just to tell you like the kind of person that my dad is, um, my dad is not an exciting person by any means, and I don't say that as like an insult. Uh, my my dad my dad is a train enthusiast uh, of all kinds, model railroading and actual uh, engines, uh, locomotive engines. But uh, my dad will take vacations, like two or three day vacations, to go with a group of guys. Just to go to some, you know, basically anywhere that trains are going to be coming through and like they know that, like hot spots for trains and they will just literally go to where these trains are and they'll just set chairs out and watch them for hours. And that's, that's an exciting time to my dad. My dad, I cannot tell you how many uh, VHS tapes and DVDs growing up that I remember my dad owning that are literally just videos of trains going by. Like it's, they're just, you know, just sound of the horn and whatever. So that's what my dad does. My dad, my dad does, uh, he's, he's big into both, like actual engines and he, he is also a model railroader. He does not have his own railroad layout, but he is part of a model railroading club. So he'll get together, you know, once a week with them and uh, run trains. Uh, I think I think if they grew up in the 70s or 80s, I'd be. Or I think if I grew up in the 70s or 80s, I'd be a train enthusiast too. I love trains, but it's not exactly a modern hobby. Uh, no, not by any means. Which is, I think, why I find it kind of kind of funny that that's what he's into. Um, like it is, it is definitely a love though that. It has not been passed on to me by any means. Um, not not to, not to say that like I don't like trains. I just you know they're okay. I'm never gonna go willingly watch one. Um, I do like to ride trains, so that's fun. Uh, but my my son my son is big into trains, and granted he's in that age too, where like any any kind of vehicle is just the coolest thing in the world to him like he has a million hot wheels uh for christmas last year he got he got a wooden train set um plays with that thing all the time for his birthday he got uh four battery powered thomas the tank engine trains that you can run wherever it doesn't even have to be on a track you can just put it on your floor and run it and he plays with those all the time um but he's also got like you know just literally anything if it's got if it's got a motor in it uh, so we, we went to the fair earlier this week and my son was like all about uh, man I should have stopped and fished I don't want to tennis pool bogus what a lame what a lame encounter I'm not going to count this as my encounter I'm going to go fishing once just because I forgot I forgot to fish real quick I go to a train museum, I think that would be fun. Like, I would do that. I would do that. But that's that's probably as far as I would go with it. I'm not... I'm, the most I will do uh, 
is our at our fairgrounds that's also where the um the local model railroading club is and i already have a horsey so it didn't even matter i could have just left it um but so they'll open up for the fair and you get to walk through there and watch the trains i had to take my son through that twice uh but he's also like like anything and i mean anything anything that's got wheels on it and a motor he's a huge fan of uh there was a uh, farming uh, company. There's a, well, not farming company, but like farm equipment dealerships that uh, had a bunch of big tractors out at the fair. And, you know, he was just thrilled to sit on, it wasn't even one of the big tractors. Like it'd be like a personal tractor. He was sitting on that and just messing with it and loved it. Like he was very upset. He was very upset that we had to leave because he was having so much fun on the tractors. Uh, that's that's my son. Uh, by the way, I finally have my Ambernick review experience. I finally wrote up my Ambernick review and experience. I'll have it up on Twitter tomorrow. Nice, nice. I will definitely um, be sure to check that out. I have I've talked myself in and out of getting one. I can't tell you how many times, and especially lately, like especially they're I mean they're getting cheaper every day. Seems like between um, between the Steam Deck being a thing and the Analog Pocket. Uh, you know, they're just getting cheaper all the time, but at the same time, like, I, I talk myself into one, and then I'm like, well, I really want a Steam Deck, though, I think, so then I don't end up getting one, and I'm like, maybe I should just get one anyways, because who knows when I'm actually going to get a Steam Deck, I know I say I want one, but, you know, they've been out for a couple years now, and I still have just, eh, I'll get one eventually, they have some newer ones out, one that looks like a GBSP, I kind of wish I held out for that one, yeah, that one actually looks really nice, um, I'm not even the biggest fan of the SP, like, in general. Um, just because I had the original Game Boy Advance and then trying to use an SP after that. Like, you talk about feeling like I got hand cramps all the time. Um, like, the back, backlit screen was cool, um, but that was about as far as I went with it. Uh, but that new one does actually look really sweet. I am, I am more of a Game Boy Micro fan than I am a Game Boy Advance SP fan. Um, I got the one that looks like a Game Boy Advance. I like it. I think I can hook it up to my capture card and stream some games from it. That would be cool. That would be cool. Seedra. Ooh. Man, I really should have... Uh, I really should have brought our Eevee along and evolved it to a uh, Jolteon, but... I just didn't. I haven't done it yet. Probably would have been a smart move for this section, but... Eh. Letting you learn. Well, I am about out of absorb, so I'm probably going to have to go back to a Pokemon Center anyways. I could pick it up, but... I don't think I'm that far off from... It. Well, I think I do... Actually, I do still have a little ways to go. Get to Cinnabar Island. I almost, guys, I almost bought a gaming laptop on Prime Day, uh, but I consulted with my wife on it because we have a we have a standing agreement that I am I'm the breadwinner in my house. I am the uh, essentially the exclusive source of income, which is it's whatever. I'm not I'm not saying that um, you know to try to champion or anything. I'm just telling you what my situation is. I I make the money. My wife is a stay at home mom stays home with our two beautiful children and but we have a standing rule that uh, anytime like I, I can spend money we both spend money whenever we want however we want but anything over two hundred dollars we have we have a discussion about first and so the problem was it was the second day of Prime Day and at that point we had already spent we had already spent quite a bit of money on Prime Day. And I mean quite a bit of money. Uh, and so, it was... What was it? I don't I don't think I still have the listing pulled up. It was a... I think it was an Asus Tough gaming laptop. Uh, I want to say it had a Ryzen 7700 XT and then I forget what, what kind of Ryzen processor in it. Um, 
but it was only like 600 bucks and it was normally 1100 and I'm like that actually seems like a pretty good deal for what it is um, definitely a lot better than the computer I'm using right now and so I mentioned something to her about it and she was she didn't seem crazy about it so so well I'm, you know, if you're not if you're not too thrilled about the idea of me buying it then I'm not going to but I think I think that the next time Prime Day comes around I probably will I have been I have been saving up some money to get a gaming computer or a gaming laptop so we'll see if it happens uh, luckily there's plenty of deals deal days to try to look at other discounts yeah for sure um, it was not actually part of Prime Day uh, I was looking on Best Buy and Best Buy was running specials alongside Prime Day uh, but eventually eventually makes sense I'm just I'm waiting Fox I'm waiting on the whole car situation to get figured out too before I go spending more money um, that's still a work in progress I have some phone calls next week that will uh, basically I'll figure out what to do from there <laughs> Okay, I've already fought that guy. That's right. Yeah, car situation takes a bit of priority. Yeah, and it's 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 not just that it's a bit of priority. It's also going to be a bit of expense. They did at least agree to do... Um, so, th so they said that both my, my engine and my transmission need replaced, right? They've agreed to do the transmission. It's just they are... They do not want to do the engine... Which I understand why, because the engine they're saying is, you know, three or four times the um, cost of the transmission. So it's trying to figure out what to do about that. If they're, if I can, you know, actually get it paid for, or if I'm going to have to pay for it, I'm probably not going to have the dealership do it. I'm, I'll go to a different mechanic. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, this round is so many trainers. I don't think I've ever fought them all before. I skip a whole bunch. Uh, I am just trying to make make this as smooth of a journey as well not smooth of a journey uh, smooth of an experience for me as possible with regards to actually getting my Pokemon level up so the more the more people I can fight the better <laughs> My main frustration with my car situation is just that everything has been moving so slowly. Like now it's it's to the point where it's like nothing's happening and that's what's that's what's frustrating about it, but we'll get it figured out once we get it all straightened out. Uh you know, we'll go from there. Everything else is is good in life. That's the only little hiccup in the road that I'm facing right now, but you know, it's not enough to I would consider life to be in a disastrous state or anything like that. Life's still good. Dang, why couldn't I have run into this tentacle first? Nintendo Kaziki, how's it going? How's work? How's your break? Hope you're doing well. I was actually just talking about a dealership. So it was fitting that you would pop in, but it's good to see you. Nobody wants to go to the tattoo convention, huh? Or expo, the tattoo expo. I would... I would, uh... I would, I would love to, uh... Love to go with you, but, uh... Tattoos aren't my thing, and Australia is a little bit far. Uh, I love that you already knew. Good to see you. Lunch is good. What is for lunch today? What's for lunch? That's what I need to know. What's for lunch? Yeah, no one wants to come with me. Well, I can't help you there. I'm sorry. Uh, Seafoam Islands. Blaine is in here, right? Chicken and salad. Ooh. I had some chicken today. I had, um, my wife made cracked chicken. No Blaine here. Okay. Articuno's here, though. 
In gold and silver, yes, but not not here in fire red and leaf green. Okay. Okay. I had some crack chicken. Uh, if you're not familiar with what crack chicken is, it's super good. It's like baked chicken that you. Oh man. I already had an encounter. Freaking go back. Freaking go back. That you, uh, it's baked chicken that you, you smother with like mayonnaise and Parmesan cheese and breadcrumbs and some other spices, seasoned salt. Uh, what else did you put in there? Paprika, maybe? A couple other things, some cumin. Super good. Super good. Um, you could add species claws if you already caught a Zubat before. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do that. Just for funsies. Not that I'm going to use Psyduck. I probably won't. But, you know. We had that and some rice. So you put all that together. That was, that was really good stuff. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Uh, let's see if I can just catch it outright with an Ultra Ball. Okay, enables you to catch more Pokemon and a more variety of Pokemon. Uh, I need a car that looks like a duck. It is constantly racked by a headache. When the, when the headache turns intense, it begins using mysterious powers. I should have taken a picture. Should have taken a picture and showed you guys, but I'm not. I'm not one of your millennial social media types that takes a picture of every meal that I eat. Um, what kind of car? It looks like a duck. I mean, I know what kind. It's just not going to be fitting because there's a Pokemon that's also named Taurus. However, however. The old, early 90s, mid well, mid 90s, not early 90s, the mid 90s to early 2000s for Tauruses. Psyduck looks like that. The ones with the, you know, really rounded, rounded lights, bubble domes, and all that fun stuff. I don't want to risk this dude knowing water moves. Who is your favorite Pokemon, Nintendo? Um, that's a that's a pretty difficult question to answer personally because it depends on uh, well, okay. I like Pikachu a lot. I do use Pikachu in Pikachu is my main in Super Smash Brothers. Um, back in the day. Uh, I'm also a really big Cyndaquil fan. Uh, I really like Lugia as well. I like Reku. I know there's so many. Like I would I would probably say outright if, if I had to, like if I had to choose, I would I would just go with Pikachu. I know it's basic because everybody loves Pikachu. Um, you know, Pikachu is the face of Pokemon. Shoot, I have... I'm freaking wearing... I'm wearing Pikachu on my shirt. He's right there. See, I got him on my shirt. I like Pikachu. Um, but if Pikachu... If, if I can't use Pikachu, then I'm probably going with, uh, Cyndaquil or Lugia. One Ultra Bowl. Yay, I got the one back that I used. Um, good picks. Thank you. Thank you. But that's also because I'm, I'm partial to uh, gold and silver. Gen 2 is my favorite. So, like, I also really like Typhlos... Or not Typhlos... Well, yeah, I like Typhlosion. Uh, but I also really like... Um, oh, who is it? Uh, Tyranitar. Ty Tyranitar is a great Pokemon. Um, 
Like I said, Raikou is great. He's, he's my favorite of legendary dogs. Uh, what would your starter Pokemon be then? Um, I also really like Mudkip. Mudkip's cool too. I would probably say Cyndaquil. Um, if I had to pick a starter, it would be Cyndaquil. Like if we're, if we're going, if we're going on the strict, uh, you know, generational starter Pokemon, I would go with Cyndaquil. But I also consider Pikachu to be a starter because the first Pokemon game I played was Yellow, and Pikachu was your starter. So, you know, I like Pikachu. Pikachu is. I would take Pikachu. Pikachu or Cyndaquil. It'd be either one of those two, depending on on what rules you want me to play by. Um, I have also not played all of the Pokemon games or generations. You're killing me, Hylix. Come on, dude. Quit being confused. Okay, this is ridiculous. Um, I have started Black... I think I might have one gym badge on that. I've beaten Y. Uh, I beat Sword. I have not played Scarlet or Violet yet. I have not played Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. Um, I have the... That'll be one that we'll do. So all of us can be miserable together. I do have the uh, Brilliant Diamond for the Switch. Which I started and did not get very far into at all. So I could, I could Nuzlocke that one. Um, we can try that one together. See how that goes. Miserably. But we can try it. What? Did, why, did I, why did I do that? Which game? Sorry, I missed it. Uh, Brilliant Diamond. Brilliant Diamond. The, the peak... The peak of Pokemon remakes. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Man, C would be another great one. Big Pearl. Big Pearl, okay. No little pearls here. Big pearls only. Kaziki, are you a are you a Pokemon master as well? Do you want to be a Pokemon champion? Ooh, definitely good luck with that. I have a compilation of all my Shining Pearl Nuzlocke deaths on YouTube. Third gym leader is rough. Well, little secret there, Fox. I don't even think I've made it to the third gym leader on, um, on the one run that I've started. Like, I've played maybe three or four hours of that game's tops. It's not a lot. Uh, I like Pokemon, but I never really put, play the games if I'm honest. That's okay. No big deal. No big deal. Um, Fox, is there anything else in Seafoam Islands beside uh, Articuno? Like, is there any other reason for me to be in here? Because I'm not trying to catch Articuno yet. I don't want Articuno to wipe me out. I would rather come back to that. Same thing with Zapdos, for that matter. <laughs> There might be some decent items, but it's really just an article place. Okay, so then, yeah, I'm going to try to get out of here and we'll keep going. I should have kept, uh... This would have been the reason to keep clubbing in my party, but that's okay. Are you allowing yourself to catch legendary separate from the encounters? Yes. Yes, I am doing that. I am doing that. And the main reason, the main reason for that... Fox is I want my reward I want my reward to be Mewtwo should I happen to actually get through this game I want to be able to go catch Mewtwo oh, I think it looks like actually I might need to navigate through these islands to make it to the other side to Cinnabar. I guess I could have gone all the way back around to Pallet and come down. That just seems like a haul, though. 
Well, I mean, I could just go through Diglett's Tunnel and cut through Viridian, but... Is Fly on Cinnabar Island? Is that where you get that? I don't remember. For some reason, I thought it was in Celadon. Um... They moved Moltres? Small house left to sell it on beyond the cut. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's 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 above Snorlax, right? For some reason, I thought it was that. Um, for some reason, I thought it was that guy uh, in Celadon where there's the one house. He stands outside the one house that's across the pond in the middle of town. For some reason, I thought like you actually need to get across there and talk to that guy, and that's where it was. I totally like I did not even go up to that um, that house. But we're gonna do that because I have to try to navigate around these islands anyways, I think to uh, like I actually have to go through the islands and I don't feel like doing that. So mole trace is no longer in Victory Road or are there two mole traces? That's interesting that they moved him. Just one. They moved it. Ah. That's kind of a bummer, though. Well, I mean, I guess it means you can catch it sooner, but... You know. I don't know if there was a separate rule. I'm assuming not, Fox. That, uh... Another reason why I haven't really thought about trying to catch him. One, I don't want to get my Pokemon wiped out. Two, uh, I can't use him anyways. Not yet, because I'm level caps 47, so I'd at least have to beat Blaine before I, even, I could even think about putting any of them up in my party. So I'm not really that worried about it. Alright, so what we are going to do is we're going to we're gonna take the... Uh, Alright, lunch has been fun and all, but back to work. Have a great stream, Nintendo. Uh, kids, I hope you have a great rest of your work day. Hopefully I get to, to chat with you a little bit tomorrow if Snook's streaming. Um, but I hope, I hope the rest of your day goes well. Some people consider static Pokemon Snorlax's legendaries as separate encounters. I didn't do enough homework on that, Fox. Um, I'm just treating legendaries as separate because they're legendaries. And I think it's kind of bogus that a Zubat could interrupt your opportunity at getting a legendary Pokemon. Uh, actually, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I was gonna take, I was gonna take Cycling Road all the way back up to get Fly, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go all the way around because I remember Jatini is in the daycare and we want steps. We want steps. The longer we can take to get there, the better. I could really exaggerate it and uh, go all the way up through, back through the rock tunnel and down into uh, Cerulean and then come down into Saffron. But we're not going to do that. We'll, we'll just go back up to Saffron and then over. All right, we did get the item finder earlier as well, since we have 35, 35 now in our Pokedex? 36, 36 Pokemons. That's cool. 36 pocket monsters. Although, I'm gonna have to get a flying Pokemon out. What other move was I looking at that I thought was just ridiculous that Snorlax could learn? Because I did, I did do that, Fox. That was part of my my plan with Sabrina. Um, I taught, I taught Snorlax Toxic. I don't remember that. There was one other move that I thought it was just ridiculous that he could learn. I don't remember what it was. 
Uh, okay, we'll drop Leaf off for a, a minute. Actually, we'll, we'll drop Graveler. We'll drop Hylix off. And we are going to withdraw Clubman because he knows cut. Man, what move was that? I don't remember. I didn't end up even needing Toxic. Toxic did work um, for my first try against Sabrina. Like, that it did end up actually being what, what I used to beat her. Um, yeah, I can't believe I totally forgot to come up this way. I know why I didn't. Because I considered the Snorlax fight to be the encounter. So I'm just like, well, forget that. Uh, let's actually... Let's try to get them some experience here. Blazer, you're starting to fall behind, bud. I need you to keep caught up. Sometimes the intensity of our love scares me. Well then, that's kind of creepy. Rapid Ash and Ninetales. I should have stuck with my gut. My gut said I should let Clubman get on the action, and then I just didn't. Um, let's body slam Rapidash and let's mega punch nine tails. So are you are you thinking about that Yu-Gi-Oh collection that I that I tagged you in Fox? You gonna pick that up? I thought that actually looked like a pretty good, pretty solid set, especially with the uh, well they say there's two games that they're gonna be in it that have not been released in the U.S. I might need to see what else it comes with first. I'm glad to see that that's something that a lot more, a lot of these companies are doing now is that they're actually, you know, trying to keep these game compilations together and bring this stuff forward. Like I get, yeah, you got to pay extra money. Um, but the fact that I have all six of the Battle Network games on Switch is awesome. Yeah. I did find your secret retreat. Aha! We can fly. Yep, I never even bothered to come up this way because um, the Snorlax encounter, I considered that the encounter for the route, so I didn't even didn't even bother. Could have had fly ages ago. Thank you, Fox. I appreciate you reminding me of that. It's easy to miss. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've made it to... I don't... Well, I guess I can heal. They did get damaged a little bit. They did take a couple couple hits. <laughs> you got any plans for the weekend? Do anything cool? I don't think I am. I think I'm just gonna hang out at the house. I think. I don't think I have anything planned. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to withdraw. Why did I do that? I want to withdraw. Uh. Excuse me. Hero. Uh. Why it is. D, D tomorrow with my group of friends and then solo D, &D game with my other friend on Sunday. He's been on vacation for a few weeks, so it'll be nice to jump back into the solo game. Oh, that's cool. So so what's the difference? Is it you're both like just doing your own D, &D campaign? Like separate but together, if that makes sense. Or are you just uh, DMing for him? I 
might stream tomorrow. I'm not I'm not gonna commit to that, but I might. We can fly, folks, we can fly. We can fly, we can fly, we can fly, we can fly, we can fly. We're gonna go to Mount Moon because I want the steps for Dratini. But we are gonna go down to Cinnabar. I don't have Clubman with me. I can't get through here. Yes, I can because you, you don't have to cut. Oh, I do have Clubman with me. Okay, cool. So we can skip Viridian Forest at least. With the group game, it's standard. Everyone has their own character and we work together. For the solo game, I am the DM and he is a solo player. He has two characters and I have two NPCs. I manage who can help him too. He just met. Nice. That's kind of cool. I feel like that's uh, that's probably what I would need to do if I were ever going to get into D&D. I had a, uh, a work friend introduce me to some uh, solo card games which I did not realize were a thing uh, that was pretty cool what do we get over here what does this guy give us I think it's TM right uh, dream eater why can't you just <laughs> Why did it? Why? Why is that? Why is that a thing now? Why is that a thing? What happened to just getting the TM? Why is it that you have to teach me the move? We're gonna try good rod. Not even a nibble. Okay, super rod. What are we gonna catch? Oh, nice. I don't think I have a poly wag, though. That's kind of sad. Um... Man, I think I know what I want to do here. I don't know why they made more tutors in the per in place of the TMs. I don't either. Like, just give me the TM. I can only use it once, anyways. Don't make me have to actually go get a Pokemon for you to teach it to. Just let me have it, and I'll use it when I need it. Actually, find a poly world here. That's kind of cool. Uh, can I scroll all the way back up to Viridian City now? Poly world, sure enough. And I do not have a uh, poly wag. That's a little disappointing. Oh, whatever. All right, time for me to get going. Have a good night and try not to lose any more pokes. I will try. Thanks for hanging out, Fox. I appreciate you. Hope you have a good night. Enjoy your D&D &D tomorrow. Epitaph, Epitaph Fox, ladies and gentlemen. Check him out. Let me uh, give him a shout-out here in the stream.
Good follow. Fun to watch. Spend some time in his streams if you can. Let's go. Polly Whirl. Hmm. Yes. What do we want to give a nickname to Polly Whirl? Polly Whirl. Man. Let's see. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right? Is that what that is? Yeah, 911 GT2. Cool beans, man. I'm just disappointed that, uh. Disappointed that I don't have a polywag. I can get a polyrath, though. That would be cool. Let's go see mom. Talk to mom. Ah, oh, always caring. What a dear sweet lady. What a dear sweet lady. No, I don't want to talk to you. What's up, Oak? have it I have the item finder uh okay hang on I didn't put that in polyworld nickname 911 GT2 status is captured Man, we can't even catch a, uh... Oh, I caught a shelter. Where was that at? Not shelter. I didn't catch a shelter. I caught a, uh... Seafoam Islands. That's where we caught it. Oh, actually... Si no, not Seal. Psyduck. What do we nickname Psyduck? Oh, I know what we named him. This Taurus. Okay. Um... Hmm. You still gotta get one of those. Uh, all right. Back to what we we're doing before. Do I have leaf? No. I think we'll be fine, though. Uh, yeah, we'll surf. Route 21. What Pokemon are in Route 21? Where's Route 21? Oh my gosh, phone, stop it. Tangela. Ooh. 
Let's get one of those. Try it at Ultra Ball straight up. See what happens. First turn. Okay. Uh, let's go with Beetle. So he can try to use a sleep powder. Oh, look at that. Look at you, smarty pants. That's what I was going to do. It's going to be like two seconds. I need to go check something real quick. Sorry about that, folks. Alright, Beetle, you do the same to them. Yeah! Oh, come on. It's sleeping. Another one. Oh, come on. It was right there. It was there. Exactly why. What else do I even have? I don't think the problem is I don't have anything. I mean, Clubman might, but I feel like Cut is still going to be too powerful, and I don't think Fierro knows anything. Not flying type. Fury attack. Well, pursuit. Yeah, we'll swap. We'll swap Piero in. Let's try another Ultra Bowl now. It's sleeping. All right. Let's see. Let's see.
I'm gonna call it the Juke. Because Tangela is ugly. But you can see its eyes. The Juke is an ugly car. If you own a Juke, I'm sorry. But I'm more sorry that you own it. Because it's ugly. Ugly. It's an ugly car. Nah, we'll be alright. Alright, that's 37, right? Or is that 38? 38. Nice. And we could we could get a polyrath and a jolteon any time for 39 and 40. Uh oh, I didn't I need to put it in the tracker. Got Tangela. Nickname was Juke. And it was captured. Got a big haul, wanna go for it? Uh, I'll... sure. I mean, it knows tackle at least by now. I'll give him that. These fishermen guys, man. Proud of their magic carps. This fight isn't even worth it. It's not even worth it. I'm gonna get 690 XP. Unless this dude just has a Gyarados out of nowhere. 690 XP to use strength six times. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous. I could have fought like three wild Pokemon within the same amount of time and uh, still got the same amount of XP. For 972 bucks. I would have rather have had the five minutes it took me to fight the guy than the 972 Poke dollars I just made. I wanna know if the fish are biting. Are they biting? Are you gonna tell me if they're biting? Please tell me. Tell me if they're biting. Ooh, okay. Okay. He's got some real ones. Body slam. The people's elbow. 1,100 pounds of pure tubby. Tiny little fish to get smashed by such a big Pokemon. Sorry, Goldeen. I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the Emperor's groove. Beware the groove! Don't throw off his groove! Watched a review of The Emperor's New Groove this week. Great movie. Great movie. One of my favorites. Ooh, paralyzed. Wah, wah. 
Let's go. Level up. I mean, I guess between the two of you, that's essentially uh, two grand, right? Huh? A battle? Ian, you can't do it alone? No. You were the one that challenged me, not Ian. Ooh. Alright. Alright. Um, let's take it to the chubby one. Critical hit. Critical hit. What a miserable time for that Starmie. Got him. Oh, see, we lost now, happy. Or see, see, we lost. Happy now? I mean, I am. You gave me XP and money. Excuse me, folks. Twister. Twisters now in theaters everywhere. I remember when Twister came out. I've never seen it. I just remember when it came out. Because I'm old. Is that too cruel? Yes, let's go Beetle here. For that type advantage against Poison. Also, because I think it has like Poison Barb or something, where if we touch it, we get Poison. Although I guess we could have we could have left Snorlax because he has that whole immunity to poison thing. That's okay. We're just gonna let Beetle continue to get some XP and become a super powerful Pokemon. Not rap! How dare you rap me? Hiya, Jackie! Jackie! Okay, let's fly back up to... I guess I can just go back to Pallet and talk to my mom, right? She'll heal me. Close enough. Hmm. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I need to get, I need to get the bigger monsters instead of just the regular 16 ounce cans. I gotta get the big screw top ones, the 24 ounce ones. I can start drinking those on Fridays instead of the regular ones. I'm surprised we haven't run into a single shiny all game yet. There are no shinies in this game. Don't scare away the fish. Okay, what if I just uh, whack them all instead? Shell dirt. Shell dirt. Ooh, we're gonna crush his shell. That sounds really bad. Whatever. Whatever. Of course you would use protect. Because you're a nerd. A nerd. Oh, 
Alright. Man, this would have been a great, great place to have uh, Leaf with us, but that's alright. Aurora Beam. One more time! One more time! Nice. Nice, uh, Nice, uh, Good job, Hummer. But most of that damage anyways wasn't even, like, I mean, Cloyster did a little bit with two Aurora Beams, but most of that was because we got, uh, Confused. We'll probably uh, call it when we get to Cinnabar Island tonight. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just a little bit tired for some reason. The fact that they just hit all five times is so bogus. So bogus. Incredibly ridiculous. Sleep talk? What does sleep talk do? One of the moves that knows. I just don't have anything I want to get rid of. The strength does not have enough PP. As much as I think that would be a great move. Goldeen. Why would you send out the weaker one last? Oh my gosh. Can't even use rest. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, thank gosh. Holy cow. I was so worried there for a second, which is ridiculous that I have to be worried when we're fighting a Goldeen. Alright, come on. Get your attacks out of the way. Bye, Goldeen. It was nice knowing you. I would like to surf. Never been surfing. Always wanted to try. I just never went. Always looked like fun. Caught my Pokemon at sea. You caught a Starmie? It's, I don't believe that for a minute. I do not believe that at all. Caught Starmie at sea. No way. No chance. No chance this dude, this dude caught this thing at sea. None. Zero. Can't believe you can get confused while you're sleeping. Seems kind of bogus.
I'm confused. Bye, Starmie. Feel the sun and the wind. Oh, this time of night, man. It's dark out. Maybe a little bit of wind, but... I'm not going outside to find out. I know. Nice. That a boy, Hummer. That's a cool. Yeah, let's go with Beetle for the type advantage. Just for funsies. Back to the big boy. Back to the chunky boy. Back to the bringer of damage. You can do it, Hummer. Don't worry about that, dude. Probably should have used Body Slam the first time. So maybe we could have paralyzed him. That's alright. Ah, oh, so close. So close. You're gonna try Athlon me, but you're gonna stop for a Pokemon battle. That tells me one of two things. Either, excuse me, either this guy is really far ahead of everybody, or this guy is really far behind everybody and just feels like, well, we'll just have some fun and have a Pokemon battle. Man, how do we get that close on that? That's bogus. That's bogus. Ooh. Let's see what else he says. I'm beat, but I still have the bike race and marathon left. Well, good luck, dude. Cinnabar! Locked. Burned out building called Pokemon Mansion. I don't know where that is. Pokemon Mansion. Out here. That's gotta be it. I think this music. Music's real cool. Smog. 
lip powder. times I'll take that I'll take that Coughing was caught. Okay. Yes. What do we want to nickname coughing? Uh, let's see. It's quite the multi plat. The multi plat. Whatever it is. We'll go with the gremlin. Nah, Pinto. It's called the Pinto. No. Pin. Pin. Pinto. Pokemon Mansion. Oh man, there's some good Pokemon in here. Oh. Yeah, we don't want to keep going then. I know the door is locked. I'm not going through the door. Excuse me. Alright, now that we made it to Cinnabar, we can, uh, let's pull Leaf back out. Excuse me. Goodness, guys, I'm sorry. Anybody else you want to deposit? I don't think so. Well, like Hylix is who we want to who we want to raise because he's gonna be good against Blaine. But I don't know. See what other trainers we can come across out here. Just to, uh. Get, a sell, get ourselves some more XP before we call it a night. There is a 31 level difference. Do that too. Polywag. Oh, Polywag, we love you. So much, so much, so baby. I just wish that uh, I actually had a Polywag. 
Got a poly world, but no poly way, sadly. for like five. That'd be ridiculous. Let's go. Campers, or because I don't think it's cool trainer, right? Picnicker. I wonder if they made them that instead of swimmers because they don't have a sprite drawing for like a swimmer standing up, they're always in water. So they just pick somebody else, even though the fact that they said they swam here from Cinnabar Island almost assuredly a swimmer, and they have water Pokemon. Alright, what is this nonsense? Come on. Let's go, swimmer. Gotta take your star you to town. That's a lot of bubbles. For 11 damage. I just wish I knew Mega Dream. Not the minimized stall. Haha, <laughs> it didn't work. Sucker! There's another one. Another swimmer. My boyfriend gave me big pearls. I'm about to take all your money. Giga Drain! 
Yeah. Got him. Shout her again, okay. We'll just do regular absorb this time. You would do protect the turn. Enjoy being poisoned. It's what you get. It's what you get! Try to be all cute. And I'm gonna use protect. I mean, I'm not telling you what you can and cannot do, however, there are consequences for your actions. Oyster. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh, whatever. Get out of here. That's a hit. Walk a bike hoister on the ocean. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, so close. Your pearls were in your Pokemon. Interesting, interesting, very interesting. Are you on vacation too? Uh, no, I'm not. I am just... Always ready to throw hands. Always. Just for the type advantage funsies. Seal, hmm. I think seal is actually water type. I don't think it's officially ice, or maybe it's both. It should still be weak to grass. I'm running out of absorbs. You would. You would. You turd burglar. That's what you get for going to sleep on me. See, uh, no, we'll stick. We'll stick with. We'll stick with the uh, vile plume. Leaf. Stick with leaf. Got him. No mercy at all. No mercy. Never. We'll, we'll get. I think we'll put Blazer in against this Bird Keeper. At least I'm assuming it's a Bird Keeper. It's dressed like a Bird Keeper. Yeah. I should have taught Blazer to fly. That's okay. Go, Blazer! Flamethrower! That was sick. That was awesome. 
That was legit. That was great, man. It was great. One more of those. Oh, Pidgeotto, okay. That's fine. Do the same thing to you. No big deal. Flamethrower! And then Trogdor comes in the I know that's a very obscure reference chat, but if you don't know who Trogdor is, you definitely need to YouTube that. Trogdor! Okay, uh, we're gonna go back to Cerulean. I think we fought all of our trainers here. I don't think I see any that we missed. Just for funsies. Just for funsies. Alright, nope, we didn't miss anybody. Okay. We're gonna heal up and we're gonna call it a night, guys. My homeboy is a little bit more tired than I expected to be, so. But still, we made decent progress. We got Cinnabar Island, we got Fly. Uh, caught a bunch more Pokemon, which is cool. We're up to 39 now, I think. 39, and we have we have 40 and 41 whenever we want it. Um, this way, next time. Well, let's do this. Let's let's just do this. Let's go do this. Let's drop our fossil off if we can. Pokemon Lab meeting room, R&D room. Testing room. I think R and D. I don't like tutors. I just don't. Just actually give me the TM. Is there anything in the trees? Always check the trees. Nope. Okay. Okay. No big deal. Let's go Dome Fossil. Because we want Kabuto and Kabutops. Okay, so we gave him that at least. So we have 40 lined up. We just don't have it yet. Alright. So we're going to save it right there, guys. 25 hours in, 6 badges, 39 Pokemon. Didn't lose anybody else tonight, so that's good. We got close. I was really worried about uh, Snorlax there, but we made it. We made it. We got it. Okay, uh, where are we at? Alright, well, folks. Oh, that was good. That was a good stream. We made progress. That's the important part. We made progress. So, this time next week, we'll fight Blaine. We might even get the Giovanni. I don't, I don't, I don't remember if there's anything else extra we have to do. Maybe. I don't know if that's why we're going to end up at the power plant. Probably. That's probably why. It's just been a long time since I've played the game, so I don't remember exactly how everything works. Um, but Blaine for sure. We'll for sure bla fight Blaine next week. Um, maybe Giovanni. We're getting close to the end. That's what I do know. Uh, still rolling with a pretty solid team here. Um, we may do a little bit of grinding before Blaine, just because the level cap is 47. And the closest thing that we have right now is uh, Beetle at level 43. And obviously, I don't want to use him for that. I mean, we got Huayra at level 40. So he's not too far off. And I think he, Hylix is like level 37 or 38. Clubman's pretty far behind though at level 33. And he'd be one that I would want to get leveled up for that fight. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. 
Um, Monday I'll be back live, 10 o'clock, for uh, some more Minish Cap. I started that this last Monday. We're doing Minish Cap Mondays and Fire Red Fridays. Uh, so we beat the first dungeon of Minish Cap, so we're headed to the second one. Um, so you won't want to miss that. Uh, it's my first playthrough. I've never beat Minish Cap. So I'm going to play all the way through it. Um, see if it lives up to all the hype that I've heard about it. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Pretty excited. Always down for a good Zelda game, but that'll be uh, that'll be Monday at 10 p.m. Um, I might stream tomorrow. I might. I'm not committing to it, just because. Uh, you never know. Like weekends, weekends are always all over the place for me. It's not. Weekends are never a time for me to slow down and relax. I'm always busy on the weekends, and then uh, you know Monday is usually a slow day for me. Um, so we'll see. If I do stream, it'll be late. It'll be 10 o'clock again. But I probably won't do the full-blown setup. I'll probably just stream from my Xbox and play maybe uh, maybe some Halo, maybe some Rocket League. I've been playing a pretty decent amount of Rocket League lately, so I might jump into that too. Um, but let's see uh, Let's see who we can raid out to. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to mute our music just for a second because whenever I... Whenever I um, pull up a browser, it just makes the music go all wonky, and I just, I hate it. I hate that it does that. I'm looking at getting a better computer because I think it's just that my CPU can't handle it. So I'm looking at getting a better computer since I'm using a laptop. Better laptop, I should say, that should be able to handle it. So let me just mute this real quick uh, while we find somebody to raid out to. Uh, again, if, if, you, if you're not following me, um, let me say thanks for hanging out. And I appreciate that, but I ho hope you consider dropping a follow. Um, like I said, I'm live basically every Monday and Friday at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, primarily playing Nintendo games, uh, but we'll we'll see maybe some other stuff. So let's see who we can raid out to. Um, let's see, let's see. HMJ's doing some art. He's live. Um, who else is up? Who else? Scoop's doing some Mario Kart. Uh, we're going to jump into who is this? Goobsasaurus. Goobsasaurus is who we're going to raid. So let's... uh. Let me get the raid messages here, and then we're gonna we're gonna hop on out of here. Uh, one second, one second, one second. Raid two. If you are a sub, raid one for followers. Raid two for subs. So there we go. So let me uh, pull this up. We'll get this started, and we're gonna head on over. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys Monday, maybe tomorrow. Won't be if if I do Monday tomorrow, it's just going to be some, uh, you know, just me playing Rocket League or Halo or something like that. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks for taking a seat on the comfiest couch in gaming. And I will see you guys in the next one. Adios. Let's get out of here. Let's go raid somebody. Have a good time. Enjoy your weekend, folks.